You may know the symptoms, shortness of breath, numbness. Yes, indeed, but there are some warning signs for a heart attack that show up ahead of time. You have to be aware of that. Dr. Randolph Whips, he is from the University of Maryland Medical Center Midtown campus, joins us this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, it's a serious thing. We like to think we've been told all our lives what to look for. What are some of the things that uh, possibly can set these things off? Well, again, I, we're all familiar with the, the major risk factors, people who have <clears throat> diabetes or hypertension, smokers, high cholesterol. Uh, we know that those folks are at a significantly higher risk of having uh, cardiovascular disease or blocked arteries, for instance. And now, even though maybe it, it's genetic too, runs in our family, right. uh, Elaborate a little bit more about what do you see maybe in some folks who really don't realize they're kind of a walking time bomb and not really uh, paying attention right. to it. Well, again, the unfortunate thing is that uh, a lot of people are not aware that they have some of those risk factors. Um, as you mentioned, family history is also another important one that is hard to modify. So that the ones that we really try to address are the ones that we can modify to try to get people to stop smoking, to try to get people to exercise, make sure they're at a, an appropriate weight. Um, if they have high cholesterol, to address it if it's necessary. Um, and if, certainly if people are diabetic, to try to make sure that they can control their sugars as well as possible. Now, it seems, too, that maybe when you get of age, even over 40, 50 years old, you say, well, I've been smoking, it's genetic, uh, why stop now, whatever's going to happen. Can you really prevent it by taking some of these measures yes, to set yeah. them off? Tell us how it's never too late. It's never too late. Certainly for smoking, it's never too late. Uh, what it does is it slows the, the progression. As we get older, we, always, we all lose some pulmonary function or lung function. But if you can stop smoking, you can slow that progression down. So it's never too late to stop smoking. And the same with blood pressure and the same with high cholesterol. I have patients that have had heart attacks and if we can really modify those risk factors, um, these patients can do well for, for decades actually. How about the gender difference, male versus female? Men lead women by about 10 years in terms of developing uh, heart disease or cardiovascular disease. Uh, we think probably estrogen protects women at least up to a point uh, but after menopause, we can see that the incidence of heart attacks and, and so forth goes up and then by the age of 70 is equal to or more than men for that. So again, heart disease is the leading cause of death in women as well as men. And as you say, it, in the future, the only way by having regular visits to our physician, right. uh, how do we know we should go to, so, to a heart specialist? Maybe we haven't been to our general practitioner in right. a while. How about that process? Well, I, I think it's a good question. I think that, that people should know their numbers. They should know what their blood pressure is. They should know what their cholesterol is. Uh, they should make sure that they don't have diabetes or are at risk for diabetes. Um, and a lot of that is done through their general, general practice uh, physician. Well, thank you for the advice, and I guess it is the whole thing of uh, regulars to the doctor. We can't control genetics, but we can certainly control our lifestyle right. and behavior. Yes, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming by and uh, very good information to share with our viewers. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Well, for more information or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Whips, you can call the University of Maryland Medical Center Midtown Campus, that number, 410-225-8000. Coming up.